Hi, welcome to Storytime with Miss Rachel. I have two special guests today. This is my little friend, Serena. Hi, girl. <laughs> yes. And this is my other friend, Cole. Hi, buddy. These are my dogs. Aren't they fun? They are so loving and sweet. They love to play with each other and they love to give kisses. You saw that. And Serena likes to be underneath the covers. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Well, today we're going to read a story about a dog. All right, so I thought I'd show you my friends. All right, so Cole and Serena, I think you need to go play so I can read this story to the kids. <laughs> Hi, buddy. All right, good job, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so my doggy friends are off playing, so now we can read our book. Today's book is called The Stray Dog. It was a great day for a picnic. What's this? asked the father. It's a scruffy little dog, said the mother. He looks hungry, said the girl. I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him to sit up. They named him Willie. They kept playing until it was time to go. Let's take Willie home, said the children. Oh no, said the father. He must belong to somebody, explained the mother, and they would miss him. On the way home, the girl said, maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody. During the week, all the family had Willie on their minds. That says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> they're all making mistakes because they're thinking about that little dog. Oh, Saturday, where are they? Are they back at the park? You think they're looking for Willie? Willie! They all cried when he appeared, but Willie didn't stop. Willie was in a big hurry. What's happening? Do you know who that is? <gasps> he has no collar. He has no leash, said the dog warden. This dog is a stray. He doesn't belong to anybody. The boy took off his belt. Here's his collar, he said. The girl took off her hair ribbon. Here's his leash, she said. His name is Willie and he belongs to us. <laughs> They're so happy, look. They took Willie home and after that, oh my goodness, they're making a big watery mess in the bathtub bathing him. <laughs> They introduced him to the neighborhood where he met some very interesting dogs. Look at all the dogs in their neighborhood. He's got lots of friends to play with and a family who loves him. Isn't that great? And Willie settled in where he belonged. Aw, that's so cute. I just love Willie and the little boy and little girl who took care of him. That was so cute. Well, I've got one more book to share with you about a dog. This book is called Good Boy Fergus. We'll see if Fergus really is a good boy. Good morning, Fergus. Want to go out? Ready, set. running after a cat. <laughs> okay, Fergie, time to go in. Come here, Ferg. 
Come, my boy. Fergus, come. Here, Fergie. Fergie, Fergie, Fergie. Fergus McLaughlin, you come here right now. Oh, please, Ferg, come on. Let's go, boy. Fergus does not want to come in, does he? Good boy, Fergus. <laughs> but Fergus is so happy. It's Mr. F, Mr. Itchy Bobo's Cratchity Man. Does that feel good? Fergus, sit. Did <laughs> he sit? No. Roll over. Mm -mm. Down. <laughs> good boy, Fergus. <gasps> Fergus! Oh no, he ate the plant. Bath time! <laughs> He's hiding. Now let's go for a ride. <laughs> His hair is all pooped up. Don't beg, Fergus. Oh, all right. Good boy, Fergus. <laughs> Time for a walk. What do you think? Does Fergus want to go for a walk? Fergus, no! Good boy, Fergie. Dinner time. What's the problem? Is that better? <laughs> better. I don't think that's good for doggies to eat. <laughs> Sweet dreams, little Fergus. Good boy. Fergus was kind of a mess, wasn't he? He wasn't a very good doggy. <laughs> but doggies are sometimes like that, aren't they? Sometimes they don't come when we call them. Sometimes they don't want to eat their food unless we give them something special on it. So two stories today about dogs. Isn't that fun? So today we're going to make a dog craft. So for this craft, you're going to need some glue and some scissors and some colored paper if you've got colored paper and a, um, an empty toilet paper tube. Okay. So for this craft, I used, I decided to use, um, black paper, um, because that's what I have at home. And, uh, I made this little guy here on this toilet paper tube. So I just cut some paper and glued it carefully to the inside to make little ears. <laughs> then I cut little spots and glued them on. And I decided to give him a little crinkly tail. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and then I just drew on his face. Now, if you happen to have some little googly eyes at home, that would be a lot of fun to put on your little puppy dog's face. And my little puppy bee has his little tongue sticking out. He's panting. <laughs> now, you could even, if you could, if you wanted to, you could even put little legs on the puppy. You could do him a different color. You could color the whole toilet paper tube to be a color that you wanted. There's lots of things that you could do to make a puppy out of a toilet paper tube. So use your imagination and don't forget to send a picture so I can see what you've done. Well, I hope you enjoyed our puppy stories today and I hope you enjoyed getting to meet my puppy friends. Thank you so much for joining me in the library and I'll see you next time.